Hey there, thanks for checking out our third favorite new feature in Muse 2014, which is full width slideshows. So this has been a highly requested feature that I think people have been screaming for for a long time. And we finally have the ability to create a true full width slideshow without having to kind of fake it using the full screen slideshow or anything like that. So let me show you how it works. If we go to our widget library and we bring up a slideshow, there isn't one that's actually called full width because you can do it now with any of these slideshows. So let's just bring out a basic slideshow. And once we have it on the canvas, the way that we can go full width is we just need to drag the hero image here to touch the left and right sides of the canvas. So if I click once on it so that the hero image is selected, Let's move it up to the top left corner and you'll kind of see it snap on the left side. It, it turns red. And now if we drag this all the way across and we touch the right side with it, it's going to snap on that side as well. Let me just move the controls over to the right side so it's a little easier to see. And I'll just leave the caption where it is. So now if we go ahead and we preview this in the browser, Now you can see that if we click our forward and back controls, the slideshow actually spans the full width, but it's nice and crisp and clear, and we're not having to fake it by using that full screen or slideshow. So it's a really great new feature, and I'm sure that you're going to see a thousand of these full width sliders all over the web uh, on sites built with Muse. Another little trick that you can use here is, let's say when we just dragged and dropped that widget in the first time, and I'll delete it out and show you what I mean. Um, let's drag a you know, a basic slideshow out here. Okay, now if we wanted to make this full width, there's actually a quick toggle button that you can use. And that button, if we click on a hero image, is up here in the top right. So if I just hold my mouse over it, it says 100% width. And if you click that, the element you have selected instantly goes 100%. So this works with anything. It doesn't just need to be a slideshow. If we drag out a rectangle, for example, let's fill that rectangle with black, or you know what, let's just fill it with kind of this pinky purple color. And then if we go to that 100% width button, click it, now the element goes full width and spans the entire page. And if we preview that in the browser, then it's spanning as we expected. So that's a simple little addition, just the uh, full width button there, but I find it really, really helpful, especially because often you're not sure if it's quite locked in on the left and right sides, and when you preview it, it's not spanning full width. So that's the way that you can guarantee that it always spans. Thanks again, and check out our next video, which is going to be on replacing images using right click, a small but really powerful feature that I love for our template workflow. Cheers.